Introduction Eden Robinson's Monkey Beach is characterized by memories fueled and triggered by trauma. Lisa Marie Hill is the main character who features throughout the novel. She lives in the Haisla community on the coast of the British Columbian, where she faces many problems in the attempt to discover herself while playing as a crosser border between indigenous and European Canadian cultures. Jimmy, Lisa Marie's brother, had been missing for questionable reasons or circumstances, and she had to wait for any news of his whereabouts. Lisa Marie has supernatural abilities as she can see and communicate with supernatural beings. This also contributes to her identity challenges as she struggles to fit in the magical realm and the physical plane. However, as the book progresses, Lisa Marie cannot use her gifts as she does not understand what is happening around her since she has no one to guide her. At this point, the novel takes a dangerous and dark tone as more supernatural beings unfold. This paper is an analysis of how Eden Robinson uses different supernatural elements to develop themes in the novel, Monkey Beach. Guz, Sasquatch Guz is a major concern, and the author uses it to elaborate on the theme of judgment. The Sasquatch or the Guz is a wild man living in the woods. In Lisa Marie's description, Guz is extremely tall with long and thick hair in his arms, chest, and legs. He is half wolf and half human, whose image is used to sell beer. He is described as a guy who is laid back, living in the mountaintops. Robinson uses this creature to explain the Haisla community's cultural values and the real terror and spiritual powers of society. Jimmy got obsessed with the Sasquatch figure from the stories told about him by his father at a very young age. He is so determined to be awarded $30,000 by the World Weekly Globe for capturing the Bguz on film. On their family offers Jimmy the chance to capture the Bguz, Lisa Marie manages to see him. This shows one of Lisa Marie's encounters with one of the supernaturals mentioned in the book. Her encounter with Bguz contributed greatly to the development of her character. Ghosts Although supernatural beings are common in the Canadian culture, Monkey Beach shows that it is being lost. Ghosts have also been mentioned in several instances throughout the novel. Lisa Marie's life portrays the sufferings and deaths of her loved ones, which cause traumatic memories. Her experience of being raped a couple of times added to the trauma that she started sleepwalking and seeing ghosts. When Lisa Marie is in Monkey Beach with her brother Jimmy, there are two instances of ghosts. She wakes up in the morning and finds herself on the shores alone. Lisa Marie noticed that there was something that was drifting out in the water. She saw it like a baby dressed in christening attire from afar, but when Lisa Marie got closer, it was a bucket. From the two contradicting views, it is clear that there was a ghost in the ocean with the ability to transform into different features. When Lisa Marie gets into the ocean, she is held on her ankle and is pulled deeper into the ocean. This indicates there was a ghost that lived under the sea, but Lisa Marie was not strong enough to see it. Another proof of ghosts in the Hesla community is the mention of the red-haired man who visited Lisa Marie. Like other ghosts, the protagonist always experiences a bad thing every time the ghost appears to her. Spirits The Hesla community believed in the existence of spirits who judged and punished sinners. Although Lisa Marie seems to be living in the spiritual realm, some instances show her inability to defeat these spirits. For instance, she is unable to understand the supernatural being in the ocean and later becomes its victim when she is dragged into the ocean unprepared. This incident shows that she was punished for her sins by these spirits. When Lisa Marie's parents took her to the hospital for medical tests, she feared that she was crazy. However, her grandmother seems to have an understanding of the spirit world. She consoles her by telling her not to be afraid, for they are just ghosts. This confirms that Lisa Marie was not the first person in the community to encounter spiritual beings. Like the Gothic in Western culture, Lisa Marie learns to speak with the ghosts through the spirits. The presence of spirits in the Haisla community signifies the indigenous or aboriginal culture which believed in magic. Lisa Marie Apart from the supernatural beings around Lisa Marie's life, 
she is half natural and half supernatural. Like the novel's main character, she is also too powerful, although she does not seem to be aware. Being a woman must have contributed to this since society has continuously reminded women that they don't have any power. First, she can communicate and interact with supernatural beings, unlike other people. Lisa Marie's ability to contact the spirit world is a curse and is seen to be a gift to others. This power might have been inherited by her mother, as Robison states that her mother had suppressed her occult powers. Also, she has a complex and weird connection with the Bguas, unlike other humans in the novel. For this reason, she can be viewed as a monster chosen and working for the Bguas. For instance, when her brother hears her scream, he rushes into the woods, hoping to capture the Bguas. He takes numerous pictures of her sister while shouting, leaving the audience wondering if Lisa Marie is the Bguas he had been waiting to meet for so long. There are several other instances where her contact with the spiritual realm has proved to be significant. For instance, this ability helped her transform from a young girl to a mature and responsible woman who was helpful to the community. Her supernatural visions and dreams were related to the Haisla culture, which was more of a gift than a curse. Lisa Marie can also be viewed as a monster chosen and working for the Bwuz. Conclusion the Monkey Beach is characterized by supernatural elements such as spirits and ghosts. Lisa Marie acts as a link between the spiritual realm and the physical plane in the Halsa community. Although certain people including her mother have negative feelings about her abilities, others understand her significance in society. However, the novel points out that it is the traumatic life experiences that led to the realization of her powers when she started seeing ghosts. Like the Gothic in Western culture, this Canadian magical realism relates to other postcolonial nations. Study Corgi can help you make your studies smarter. Visit studycorgi.com for more samples like this, study tips, and writing tools.